You are going to start with a square piece of paper, which means it is the same length on each side. And you are going to take one corner and connect it with the opposite corner. You're gonna line them up. Once they're lined up, you can crease your paper. You're then gonna open up your paper and you'll see a line going across. We're going to wanna to make another line going from the opposite corner that intersects with our first line. So we're going to bring the other two corners up to meet and then crease our paper. When we're done with that, we're going to open up our square. You can see there's an X going through the center of our square paper. And we're going to fold our paper in half. We want to create two lines going through our square. So we're going to fold one side over have each end meet and then crease our paper. We're then going to keep our paper folded and fold it one more time. We're going to fold our paper down and it's going to create a smaller square shape. Next we're going to open up our paper and you can see there are a few lines going across. I'm just going to fold the corners to sort of recrease the folds. I'm going to do this with all the lines going across. And I will refold it into my square shape. Now, I'm going to want to slip my finger underneath the first flap. Pull out my paper. If you pull it out too far, the whole thing will pop out. You just want to pull out the first flap so that it creates a triangle shape. Then I'm going to crease that down. Next, I'm going to flip it over and see my triangle on one side and my square on the other. I'm going to hold down my triangle and flip the other side on top of my triangle. So now I no longer have a square, I just have two equal triangles. I'm going to crease down my paper on all sides. You can see a line in the middle of the triangle. I'm going to have the outside of the triangle meet the inside of the triangle. So I want both those edges to meet. And then I'm going to press down and fold my paper. to fold my tiny triangle over one more time. Now I've got a nice texture with my folds. I'm going 
going to do the same thing but reverse. So I'm going to take the lower triangle, the edge of it, and bring it into the middle to meet the center line. And then grease it. This will create a fin shape. I decided to add a little eye for my fish. And you're all set. <laughs> 